So today is another day to talk about another opportunity that will help you increase your capacity, stay out of trouble, and then make informed decision. This is Common Sense with Freddie. And my name is Coach Wilfred Asukor. If you're just joining this channel, yes, I am a capacity builder. I am also the founder of Zit Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform. I'm also an IT consultant. I teach, I train, and I mentor. I transition many from minimum jobs from minimum wage to a six-figure space. Does it sound like something you want to take a shot at? Of course. You can use the link below this video and I'll get you up to speed. And if you're just joining us for the first time, please don't forget to smash on the subscribe button and join the community. So today I'm going to be talking to you about something very important, and that is avoiding being a victim of a credit card fraud. I don't know how to explain it, but as a coach, many of my mentees or clients who almost or one of them became a victim of a credit card fraud. Victim in the sense that somebody ignorantly used his account you heard me right somebody i don't know if it was ignorantly or out of trust or out of not you know keeping up with your guards decided to use his account details to perpetrate fraud which almost landed this my in this individual or my client in a serious trouble with the authority so it is important we talk about it because some of you are falling victims. Some of you, you are ignorant because you respect a person, because you have high regards and um, you place so much respect on this individual. And whatever this individual says or does, you definitely would not want to fault or find anything wrong with what the person is doing. And guess what? The person don't think about you like that. The person is thinking about using you, taking advantage of you, taking advantage of your vulnerability or your ignorance to make money off you. So you want to be extremely cautious, especially those of you that are just jackpying, I mean, relocating to the foreign country, relocating to North America, relocating to Europe. There's a tendency for you to be used as a pawn or tendency for you to be used and you become a victim of a credit card fraud. Either, I mean, your card being stolen to be used or your account is being used. And I'm going to explain to you one of those typical example. Are you ready? Have you found yourself in that situation before? They have different ways, but this particular one is very important. So take it this way. So let's say you relocate to North America and I have known you for a while before you relocated. Okay. I've had a relationship with you. You've trusted me. You've seen me as a confidant or somebody you can trust, somebody that you can rely on, somebody that you can confide in. Okay. And because of that trust over the years, and I know you do not understand the system. Perhaps that is what I may have been involved in. And then because I do not want anything to tie to my name, any of my operations or my escapades to tie to me or my names or my details. So I strive to tie it to other people just in case the system or the um, law is catching up on those operations everything will be traced to those victims, which you might be one of those victims and definitely not me. You know what I mean? So here am I, I asked for your account details. Oh, I said, oh, I need to send some money to you so you can help me do one or two stuff. Or I need to ship something to you so you can help me do one or two stuff. And ignorantly, you accept. You make available those details. And I begin to make all my escapades operations shipping it to your address or pulling it into your account and i ask you to you know withdraw the money or use the money and then carry out 
whatever instructions that I'm going to give. I'm like, oh, for your time or for whatever you've done for me, please take $1,000 or take $2,000. And you feel good about it that there is something legit that you are being paid for to do, not knowing that you are being used as an alibi or you've been used as an accomplice to execute a credit card fraud. So let's say one of those unfortunate incidents and you are being tracked or the operation is being tracked or somebody is looking into the numbers or looking into the records and they are tracking it. Nothing will be tied to the original perpetrator or the, the, the original person that executed this crime. What is going to be seeing is where was the money moving from and where was it moving to? The money was moving from point A is still not the original person that did it move to point B and the point B is you or any other victim. So you will be sitting in your home all of a sudden somebody's going to be knocking on your door oh we are the FBI or we are the police or we are the investigator or we are the journalist or so 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 so, so the package was sent to your home um, this is was money or so, so so money was sent into your account and you'll be like oh so 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 person sent the money to me and the person it wasn't his name he would deny it that he did not do anything ignorance of the law is not an excuse so be careful be wise when you are sending out your details be sensitive to the package or the money that is coming into you now one of my clients what saved this individual was the fact that he was able to identify that this was fraud and because he could not confront this individual he reported to the authority but meanwhile he went the individual asked him to withdraw the money and bring to him physically he says no let me transfer to you. he said no don't transfer just withdraw the money and bring it to me so he withdrew the money and he requested that he should see him at the gas station. And you all know at the gas station in the United States, we all have cameras in there. He made sure this was at the strategic location where the camera could pick them while he left the money for this individual. Now, this money was supposed to be a certain amount. He divided the money into two and gave him half. And then the Agbalagba, the man in court, was like, what happened? This money was supposed to be this amount. You were like, you better take that and get the hell out of my face because I will call the authority for you that you've been doing some shady stuff and it didn't go down well from then. You know what I mean? It did not go down well from then. I didn't know what happened after then, but that was how the guy was able to dissociate himself from such fraudulent activities and acts. So be careful when you are relocating. Be sensitive because, listen, <laughs> these guys are not nice. All they care is how to um, take advantage of your vulnerability, take advantage of your gullibility to make good money off your head that's not something you want to deal with you relocated for a purpose not for fraudulent activities you relocated for a purpose not to be in prison you relocated for a purpose not to be caught up with the authority over a crime that you could have avoided so you can share below this comment sections other ways in which all these frosters are taking advantage of the vulnerable so i can learn from you so um others can read and also learn from you because i can tell you it is not getting funny anymore people are getting a lot of people into trouble because of this fraudulent and fraud activities that are, that are happening in there so there are so many people who would have avoided this if somebody would have told them about it if someone would have shared this with them perhaps they wouldn't fall a victim into such um bad um records again when you find yourself in these circumstances and you are being prosecuted it goes straight into your record you won't be able to be useful again in that country you would be seen as a froster 
it takes up to 10 years for that to leave your record. That's not something you want to find yourself into, okay? It's not something you want to find yourself into. I look forward to speaking with you again. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.